Now, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi was proud of his royal heritage. Born on the 27th of August in 1928, Butelezi's parents, Chief Matole uh, Butelezi and Princess Mako Godin uh, Di Nuzulu, influenced his life, especially his mother, Princess Makoko, uh, sister of King Solomon. Princess Makoko was a, a composer, Zulu classical music, a singer, a poet, something that brought joy to Prince Buteleze when he spoke fondly of his family's <coughs> musical legacy. Now to find out more about the musical part of uh, Prince Mangosutu Buteleze's life, we're joined virtually by uh, Bongani Tembe, the Chief Executive Officer of the KwaZulu Natal Philharmonic Orchestra. Sir, a very good morning to you, a warm welcome to Morning Live. I mean, not many people know about the musical heritage of a Prince uh, Mangosutu Butelezi. Can you tell us more about his mother, who we've come to know so well uh, regarding South African music history, uh, Princess Makoko? Um, yes, good morning to you and the listeners. Uh, indeed, Princess uh, Magogo was an incredible woman, mm -hmm. an incredible artist. Uh, she composed Zulu classical songs. Not only did she sing, but she also played uh, traditional instruments. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead. Yes, and um, uh, there is a recording of her singing Onomso Pezugonke. If you listen to that recording, I have never heard a singer sing from the heart like that. I, I have listened to that recording more than 10 times each time I cry because she had a, a voice that spoke to the soul. Mm -hmm. And the bit that we also know about is that she was an amazing teacher as well, apart from being a composer. Yes, she taught many um, other young people and singers, and, and she was an authority of Zulu music, the traditions, the history and the folklore, and really made an impact, and also was uh, visited by overseas scholars to come to South Africa and just to um, understand what she was doing. People like David Rycroft from the School of African and Oriental Studies in London visited her organist from Sweden, so she made a, a very big impact. Mm -hmm. What do we know about her relationship with uh, Prince Butelezi musically, that is? Well, they had a close relationship. They always sang at home, and uh, it, it was a home, uh, from my understanding, filled with music. Uh, Prince Butelezi is a singer himself, and he sings at the church, and so um uh, she would have gotten uh, he would have gotten a lot of influence from uh, his own mother but what is important also to note is that she was born in 1900 mm -hmm. so when she was doing it, about princess makoko when she was doing all of these things remember where was the place of women and not only in south africa and in the world so in a way she was a trailblazer in, in terms of her work. Mm. And how much did Prince Butelezi continue to keep, you know, his mother's legacy alive for generations? Well, he did. He supported the opera Princess Makoko, which was composed by uh, Professor Mziliga Zikumalo, who has also passed on. And um, um, we were all blessed to be part of that opera, which uh, is really the first uh, full-scale um, Zulu opera, which was at the Playhouse uh, Company, and uh, Sbongile Kumalo played Princess Magogo. There was Figile Mvingera, the dynamic baritone, Linda Bukosin. I played the role of King Dinuzuli in that production. So that was historic, and Prince uh, Butelez supported that operatic production, which has really cemented her, her legacy. Mm. And it also goes to show how far back opera uh, music goes back into this country, even though, uh, even back to the days where people couldn't necessarily read music. Yes, it goes back. I remember when we were starting in opera, people will say, well, opera is just for people of a certain color or from the West. And I used to say um, uh, way back in the 1980s, but what is the opera? Opera is simply a story. You choose a story, 
you choose a composer, you set music to. And I'm glad today uh, we've done a, an opera about Princess Magogo, we've done an opera about uh, Nelson Mandela, about Winnie Mandela and others. So we can utilize this genre to tell our stories. Mm -hmm. Now, he credited his mother, Princess Makoko, as one of the, you know, the one that instilled the love for reading and music. You know, how did this heritage also influence other members of his family? Um, it did. Uh, I know um, uh, Zuzi Buteles loves music, reads a lot. And, you know, uh, um, um, uh, Chief Buteles' daughter is a parliamentarian. She reads a lot. And, and so the whole family is, is learned and speaks well, uh, both impeccable Zulu and impeccable English. Mm. And I mean, speak to us about um, trying to tell the story of Princess Makok and given the rich history that she brought into South African music and its landscape and, you know, how, how difficult, how easy was it to, you know, compress that into a proper uh, musical? Well, it was not easy mm. because obviously uh, Princess Magog had a rich history yeah. and so to put it all of that together uh, was not easy and uh, we had a wonderful librettist um, uh, who did that and so it was quite an involved process and it took many years uh, to put together and um, the composer, um, uh, Professor Mzilega Zikumalo, uh, took a lot from her own songs and the Zulu traditions. Mm. And he loved to sing, and the music brought joy to his life. How do you think uh, Prince Butelezi should be celebrated? Well, certainly music should be that part, mm. and I'm glad that to, at the funeral, the Guazulu Natal Philharmonic Orchestra will perform, and Sipoga, as a wonderful singer, will perform, and will do some of Princess Makoko's songs um, at the funeral today. So that's quite a fitting, um, really, really uh, way of recognizing that side. Mm. Speak to us about your interactions with him. Um, what kind of person will, are we speaking about here? Interactions with uh, Chief Butelez. Yes. Well, um, my personal interactions, he was always a humble man. And um, he was very respectful. Um, he loved the arts and uh, he loved tradition. And so our interaction was really from that, uh, from that perspective. And um, also, uh, my mother is a Butelezi. So he always uh, said Mshana to me, I said, Ao Malume. And uh, so it was a warm interaction, yes. All right. Bongadi Tembe, always such a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for talking to us. He is the Chief Executive Officer of the KZN Philharmonic Orchestra, talking to us about Prince Mangosutu Butelezi's uh, musical heritage.